Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle Roberts and I'm a senior technical marketing engineer with F5 Security and Distributed Cloud Group. Today we'll be talking about OWASP OAT001 automated carding attacks. Carding is a way to validate lists of stolen credit card data and test them against emergence payment card processes to identify valid card details. The quality of stolen data is often unknown and carding is used to identify good data of higher value. Payment cardholder data may have been stolen from another application, stolen from a different payment channel, or acquired from a criminal marketplace. Now let's take a look at how an attacker leverages a sophisticated browser automation script with stolen credit card data to perform a carding attack. Selenium is an open source web-based automation tool and we're using it with Python here to create this carding attack. First, the Python script imports the Selenium web driver, which in this case is using Chrome. We then instruct the browser to load the payment page of our attack target and give it the X path to the web page elements of the payment card form. Next, we instruct the browser to insert the stolen credit card data line by line from the file. The goal here is simply to validate the card data, so often a transaction of the smallest dollar amount possible is what we'll see in this attack. The application target that we're testing against is running in F5's distributed cloud virtual Kubernetes cluster and currently doesn't have any bot protections enabled. As we start the carding automation script, you'll notice the Chrome browser launches and navigates to the application's payment page. It begins inserting credit card data and submits it in an attempt to validate successful transactions. You can also note the payment failed card not valid response from the payment processor. This tells the attacker that it's not being blocked by any anti-automation controls. F5 is uniquely positioned to help you solve these challenges by meeting your customers where they are. With our flexible bot and fraud deployment models, we provide a variety of insertion points and connectors to help you deliver superior efficacy without reliance on traditional controls like CAPTCHA and MFA. F5 offers these pre-built connectors for application platforms like F5 Distributed Cloud, Big IP, and Nginx, e-commerce platforms like Salesforce Commerce Cloud, Adobe, and popular CDNs like AWS CloudFront and Cloudflare. Let's move into our SaaS-based distributed cloud console and update our bot defense policy to block this unwanted automation. The bot defense configuration we're looking at today is part of our distributed cloud WAP setup under the application load balancer. If we manage the configuration and browse to the security section, we can see the bot defense options. Let's modify the endpoint policy for our payment endpoint. We'll give it a name, a description, and change the path prefix to slash pay with an action of block. We'll also specify the block message here as well. Save and apply the configuration, and we're done. Let's launch our carding automation script again and verify the results. You can see the browser automation is running and the attack appears the same, except now the block message that we configured is showing up. This tells us that our endpoint policy that we configured for bot defense is working as expected. Back inside of the F5 Distributed Cloud Console, the Web App and API Security Dashboard provides a centralized view of many different security insights. You can see the bot events under Security Events widget. If we click on the event category, it takes us to the Security Events tab where we can see the WAF, bot, API, and service policy events. If we narrow it down to bot defense, we can refine the results. There's also a dedicated bot defense tab, which provides additional key insights related to the automation against your applications. That's all for this session today on OWASP OAT001 and the way that attackers are leveraging automated carding attacks against your web applications. Thanks again for viewing. See you next time.